Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Jackie Cook. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God, and shout to the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to all my God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have every sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my law, through my law, through my most grievous law, therefore, Sweeter also than honey 
and drippings of the honeycomb. The judgments of the Lord are just, and all of them are just. so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralyzed man, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. He stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. The Gospel of the Lord. People in glass houses should not throw stones. Amaziah, the priest in Bethel, it's too bad that his mother didn't tell him that old saying. Amaziah is attached to the royal sanctuary in the city of Bethel, and this is in the northern kingdom. And we're thinking about a period in history where the kings are getting very corrupt. The king here, Jeroboam II of the Northern Kingdom of Israel. And this uh, king, as we know, had made uh, great expansions in the Northern Territory. He had expanded his kingdom with conquering different territory, but he had erected in the sanctuary of Bethel a golden calf that was to be worshipped uh, by the people. The northern kingdom, of course, larger than the southern kingdom, comprising the ten tribes of the north. In the south, only the two kingdoms. So this was an important uh, transgression, a very notorious uh, moment, and so God stirred up in the heart of this young man as he describes himself the tender of sycamore trees. His name, Amos. He's one of the twelve minor prophets. He's a contemporary of the prophet Isaiah. So we are here dealing with the period of the time just before the Assyrian invasion and deportation. A time when God is going to chastise the people for their wandering in faith. So this was a low point in history, and God stirred up Amos, especially he is revered to us as a prophet of social justice. He was decrying how the poor, how the workers were underprivileged, underfed, um, everything was uh, luxury and corruption at the top levels of society. So Amaziah chooses to throw stones at the prophet Amos, this young man whom God has stirred up 
to walk north because everybody walked in the ancient times. He walks north to go into the northern kingdom and to denounce the corruption of the ruling dynasty led by Jeroboam II and his family. Who is Amaziah? He is a priest, of course, attached to the sanctuary of the Golden Calf. He is also not a priest of Levi. So in the tradition of Judaism, the priests were from the tribe of Levi. Amaziah is not. So he should not be throwing stones at this young prophet who comes to challenge the ways of the northern kingdom. As we see, uh, the prophet continues his prophecy, this time even telling Amaziah, you too are going to suffer because you're involved in this corrupt regime. Our psalmist tells us the judges of the Lord are true and all of them just. A reminder that God is with the prophet and we have been seeing in the Sunday readings of, of the Sunday liturgies of late, God is with his prophet and sends him uh, to deliver a message that is needed, a healing message that of course comes across firstly as a challenge and a rebuke. In our Gospel, our Lord heals uh, the paralytic. We have the version of Matthew, which is a very simplified version. We know this story very well. It is a proof that the Son of Man has power on or authority on earth to forgive sins. That Jesus says, firstly, to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven. forgiven. Meaning that the most important healing we need of all, each one of us, is the healing from our sin before we think of the physical healing that uh, God can also work. The condition of the monarchy and ruling classes in ancient Israel needed healing and needed forgiveness and needed the grace of faith. When we see our Lord offer these gifts so freely and readily, we realize the great blessings to us in the new covenant, that confession, absolution, freedom, liberation, they are ours just for the asking. How privileged we are. How privileged we do not live in this time of the judgment of God against the apostasy of ancient Israel. We have moved into the availability of mercy. But that being said, we know the gifts of God can be also abused by us. We can choose to, um, in the words of uh, uh, Teresa of Avila, fling a gift of God back into his face. That's modern man, when he refuses to access the gift of forgiveness, when he refuses the gift of faith. So, we take these lessons from Scripture to our heart. If we don't learn them, we are condemned to repeat what is written in Scripture. What God has done in the past, He will do again. So He asks us uh, to take His call to faith and grace and conversion seriously. We will just uh, remain seated today instead of the prayers of the faithful. We'll start the Novena Prayer to St. Benedict, uh, a great, powerful saint for conquering evil spirits, conquering evil in our own heart, in our own house. So we ask God to bless us through the prayers of St. Benedict. So each of us could make our intention as we begin this novena for the nine days. Glory of St. Benedict, sublime model of virtue, pure vessel of God's grace. Behold me humbly, kneeling at your feet. I implore you in your loving kindness to pray for me before the throne of God. To you I have recourse in the dangers of daily surrounding. Shield me against my selfishness, and my indifference to God and to my neighbor. Inspire me to imitate you in all things. May your blessing be with me always, 
so that I may see and serve Christ in others and work for his kingdom. Graciously obtain for me from God those favors and graces which I need so much in the trial mercy toward those who were afflicted or troubled in any way. You never dismiss without consolation and assistance anyone who had recourse to you. I therefore invoke your powerful intercession, confident in the hope that you will hear my prayers and obtain for me a special grace and favor I earnestly implore. Help me, great Saint Benedict, to live and die as a faithful child of God, to run in the sweetness of his loving will, to attain the eternal happiness of heaven. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us a bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. So of all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we attain. Holy, 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 God of us, have been your heart, 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 your so that they may become for us a body of love of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the child's and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the child's of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be you should get to my Only to say
Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all within me his holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice be an offered and received to us with life, O oh Lord. We pray, so that bounty and lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
also at Mass at 9 and Mass at 7.